My story begins with this old family photograph. Natural curiosity led me to my local genealogy class, which in turn resulted in this family history. On the left is my grandfather, William Hall, who with his brother had his own cooperage in Leith, in a place called Stories Alley, between Lodge Trafalgar and Trinity House in the Kirgit. My great-grandfather was born in Ireland in County Antrim around 1837. His father was born around 1772. All were coopers. Coopers were craftsmen who made the wooden casts used to store and mature Scotch whisky. On the right, my grandmother, Jessie Stevenson, a New Havener, whose father, Robert Stevenson, was a ship's pilot. Ship's pilots were skilled mariners who guided large ships through dangerous waters into port. My great-grandfather's wife's father, a bit complicated here, John Irwin, was born in Lerwick around 1808 and lived in Sandport Street in 1851, opposite the Cooperage, where my father returned to work after the Second World War. Every Friday, I would walk down to Sandport Street from Hermitage Park Primary School when my father would give me half a crown pocket money. My grandfather, although not a leader, he was born in Alloa, was devastated when Leith was amalgamated into Edinburgh after the 1920 vote when well over 20,000 voted against the amalgamation compared to just over 5,004. Invited for his tea one night, he remarked on how overfed we Bairns were. This remark was all the more ironic considering his family was brought up in a three-bedroom flat with a bath and hot running water, whereas we lived in a room and kitchen with a cold water tap and a zinc bath and had to deal with the problem of ration books. My mother's reply, though, was down to earth. It's food in the bank of health. My family connection with Leith and New Haven goes back a long way. My grandfather, although not a New Havener himself, was a member of the New Haven Silver Band. But now, in 2015, there are no Coopers in Leith, and in New Haven there is no Silver Band, and the fishing is a pale shadow of what it once was. But in the Kirgit, a constant reminder of the link between Leith and New Haven, Trinity House, a training ground for ships, pilots and mariners, still stands. A great institution and still going strong.